There is no bail for the man that prosecutors say stabbed another man 66 times and then dumped his body in a barrel in the bay. Just hours ago, Tim Cook appeared in court where he's being charged with first degree murder. A second man who was also arrested answered to charges yesterday. 10 News reporter Jennifer Kastner was there and Jennifer, the suspect's family was also there. Yeah, his family was in court this afternoon. All they would tell me is no comment. This guy has a long list of prior felony convictions, including and most recently attempted murder. A judge ordered media to hide the face of accused killer Timothy Cook, who sat in a Chula Vista courtroom Friday in his green jail uniform, where he pleaded not guilty. We believe that uh, he is a serious danger to the community given this case and his history. A serious danger to the community, said prosecutor Sherry Somerville. She first asked the judge to set bail at $3 million for his murder charge in the death of 28-year-old Omar Medina. His body was found in a drum in the San Diego Bay. Somerville read out the 52-year-old's long list of prior felony convictions. Yes, six of those. Uh, his most recent conviction was for attempted murder with a firearm allegation use. Attempted murder, for which prosecutors say he served 17 years. Other convictions include robbery and vehicle theft. After hearing that, the judge determined he shouldn't be allowed any possible release. At this time, the court is remanding him to the custody of sheriff on no bail. It was earlier this week when Cook was arrested at his South Bay home. There was a second arrest in El Cajon of 38-year-old Derek Spurgeon. He's accused of helping with the murder. Thursday, we were required to blur his face during his first appearance. He pleaded not guilty before the judge decided to hold him on half a million dollars bail. The victim in this case was stabbed uh, 66 times. Um, he was then placed in a drum uh, with the help of Mr. Spurgeon um, and uh, dumped in the bay. If found guilty, Spurgeon faces six years. Cook faces life. And Medina's family was also in court today, but they were too emotional to speak. Let's go back to you. All right, thanks, John.